Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm Phil Sewell and I'm from Godfrey's Law. I've been here a long time and uh, I, I do a wide range of work but I, I spend a lot of time helping people with their family trusts. One thing I talk to them a lot about is their letter of wishes. So what is a letter of wishes? Sounds fancy but actually it's quite simple. It's, it's a letter, it's not a prescribed form and ideally it should be in language that you and your future trustees of your trust can understand. you're around and managing your trust, you've got a fairly tight control on what happens. You'll be a set law, you'll be a trustee, you make the decisions, you know what happens with the assets and the income. But when you and your partner have gone, or you, whatever it is, your trustees need to know what to do. Some people have special situations they need to provide for. They might have kids who have got long-term long medical issues. They might have grandchildren they want to help in a special way, for example, the trust to pay school fees or to pursue a sporting or cultural interest. Those are the sorts of situations which trustees in the future need to know about. So that's a letter of wishes. After the trust deed and keeping minutes, it's the most important thing someone needs to do with their trust. So ideally, uh, our clients would be writing these themselves, but generally most don't. And that's where we come in. Because I've spent a lot of time talking to other people about these letters of wishes, I can come up with some ideas that perhaps other people haven't thought of. I can produce a draft, and then what I like is for our clients to take that draft away and tailor it to suit their own needs and for their own trust. It doesn't always happen, so we can be involved as much or as little as the people need. But one thing's for sure, with the modern New Zealand discretionary trust, in which there are no fixed entitlements, we need to make it very clear what your trustees do in the future. You rely on your trustees' uh, good nature, their memory of what you uh, might have wanted, and their interpretation of other things. And that's where people can go way off track. If you've got a trustee with strong views or perhaps some personal agenda that was hidden previously, the purpose of the trust might not be met. Trustees are not obliged to follow what's in the letter of wishes, it's, it's just for guidance, but if you choose your trustees carefully, they will, they will do what you want. So if, if a client or anyone you know has a trust and not sure what to do with it or they're not sure how to set things best up for the future, they need to give us a call. Me or one of the team, we've got a, a skilled team at Godfrey's Law, we all do work with trusts a lot and we can help get them back on the right path.